I've installed our finger joint bit um, and I've raised it high enough so that the bearing underneath um, still will come into good contact with the piece of wood that I'm going to use. I've also spaced the cutters and before the cutters were all in a line and that would put quite a lot of stress on the on the router bit itself so what I've done is I've spaced them in equal increments here. I've also moved the one defense open. Uh, I've kept the gap relatively narrow here. Safe enough but relatively narrow because that will help with um, dust extraction. So what we have to do as with um, all bits is we have to calibrate um, the one defense front to the front of the cutter here. I've got a nice piece of wood for that because this is really sharp. We just push it forward. Doesn't need to be perfect up into the semi closed position and in a clockwise direction. Bring the fence up to there. Okay. So now we want to fully lock it, move the marker, okay. Now between the bearing and the edge of the cutter is five millimeters and I think what we'll do, and they always recommend to do this with big bits anyway, is to make it in multiple passes and I think two passes should be sufficient. So the first cut we'll do is at two and a half millimeters. So open the carriage, two and a half millimeters and closed. Um, I've got a piece of 35 millimeter American cherry here, which is just perfect for this size. So let's make a start. Always make sure that the spindle is locked. gentlemen you have a perfect finger joint but this is actually not to say, I mean I'm not today taking a look at how finger joints work and getting the spacings and everything correct what is more important today is to make sure that this combination of the um, master lift and the AEG router can actually do the trick and it really can okay so now let's move on to the raised panel bit So I'll set up the race panel bit and come back soon.